The Story of the Raft Once, the Buddha was giving a discourse to his disciples on the banks of the Ganges River. He spoke of the importance of seeking liberation and emphasized that his teachings were like a raft that could carry one across the turbulent waters of existence to the shore of enlightenment. The Buddha said, just as someone who wishes to cross a great river builds a raft for that purpose, similarly, my teachings serve as a raft to help beings cross the ocean of suffering. After hearing these words, a disciple named Subhuti stood up and asked, Venerable Sir, should we cling to your teachings in the same way that a person clings to a raft? The Buddha replied, No, Subhuti, you should not cling to my teachings in that way. Once you have reached the other shore, the raft is no longer necessary, and it should be left behind. In the same way, once you have attained enlightenment, you should let go of all attachments, including attachment to the teachings themselves. The Buddha continued, My teachings are like a finger pointing to the moon. They are not the moon itself. You should not mistake the finger for the moon. Do not cling to the words or the concepts. Directly experience the truth for yourself. The disciples were puzzled by this teaching, and Subhuti asked for further clarification. The Buddha explained, the ultimate truth is beyond words and concepts. It is a direct experience that transcends intellectual understanding. The raft of my teachings is meant to guide you to that direct experience, but it is not the experience itself. He further elucidated, do not grasp onto the teachings, thinking they are absolute truths. They are skillful means, designed to liberate you from suffering. Once you have realized the truth, let go of all concepts, including those of self and other, and abide in the state of liberation. The Buddha concluded, just as a wise person uses a raft to cross a river and then leaves it behind, a wise disciple uses the teachings to attain enlightenment and then transcends them. Clinging to the teachings will only impede your progress. The truth is to be realized within your own experience. This story of the story of the raft imparts a profound teaching on the nature of the Buddha's teachings and the path to liberation. It emphasizes that the teachings are not meant to be clung to as absolute truths, but rather as skillful means to guide practitioners towards direct experience and realization of the ultimate truth. The Buddha encourages his disciples to use his teachings as a tool, much like a raft, to navigate the challenges of existence and attain enlightenment. However, once the goal is reached, the teachings themselves should be transcended and abandoned. The ultimate truth lies beyond concepts and words, and it can only be directly experienced by letting go of all attachments, including attachment to the teachings. This story reminds us of the importance of not becoming fixated on doctrines or clinging to concepts, but to go beyond intellectual understanding and experience the truth for ourselves. It encourages us to cultivate a direct and experiential relationship with reality, free from clinging and grasping. By doing so, we can realize the liberation that the Buddha's teachings aim to convey.